phone when they don't want me to call on them. But instead of doing that, I'll pick on Jonathan. Jonathan, it's to evaluate your, to evaluate your six trigonometric functions. You have to have a what? It starts with a T. It's a shape. A triangle. <laughs> we don't know anything about the six trigonometric functions, ladies and gentlemen, unless we have a triangle. All this unit circle stuff is just triangles. You have the 30, 60, 90 triangle, you have the 45, 45 degree triangle, and you have the 30, 60, 90 in the other direction. That's all the unit circle is, is just triangles, and we just make an arc around it and make it a little bit easier to understand. But you can't evaluate your trigonometric functions unless you have your triangle that we're evaluating with, right? Without a calculator. You have to have a triangle. We have a point here, okay? Now, there's one thing that we, if you, if you guys remember when we were first evaluating these, we practice all these problems on. I said, sketch the angle. Once you sketch the angle, then I said, find the what angle. It starts with an R. Reference angle. The reference angle had the same value as the angle. It was the exact same value. Um, and the reference angle was the acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. That's what we called our reference angle. So what I want to do is, if I'm given a point, is create a triangle using the reference angle. Again, the reference angle is the acute positive angle. It's always positive, but it's the acute angle between the terminal and the x-axis. So if I want to create a right triangle here, all I'm simply going to do is draw a perpendicular line to the x-axis. Now, I have a coordinate point. x is my 3. That means I, to go over to that point, I traveled 3 units to the right. So does it make sense for me to label that side length of the triangle as 3? And to get to this point, I traveled 5 units down. So it makes sense for me to, travel to make this negative 5. Does everybody be correct with that? The important about this, guys, is I want you guys to understand. We're using a coordinate system. We haven't used a coordinate system before. We're using a coordinate system. Well, actually, we kind of did with the unit circle. Here it's all positive. But once I start going below the, y, the x axis, Values are negative. When you go to the when you go to the left of the y-axis, values are negative. I'm going here. I have value. I have negative values, right? But if I want to evaluate the six trigonometric functions, I still need to figure out what the. I still need to find all the side lengths of my triangle, right? So I need to find my hypotenuse. So I quickly do Pythagorean theorem. I'll call that h. So I have 9 plus 25 equals h squared. That becomes 34 equals h squared. Square root, square root, h equals the square root of 34. Double check, can I simplify my radical at all? Is there any numbers that can divide into that? No, that's a prime number. Cannot be simplified, OK? So the next thing, Caitlin, is I'm just going to now take my trigonometric functions. I'm now just going to take my trigonometric functions and create my ratios. Uh, Matilda, so what would my sign be? Can you put that away, please? Away. 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 What? Right, what's your hypotenuse length? Yes. Yes. Could you please put your phone away, please? Negative 5 over the square root of 34. Right? It's also written up there on the board. Cosine is your adjacent. Now again, we're going from my theta prime. So my adjacent, Alex is going to be, Alec is going to be what? Three. Adjacent over. hypotenuse, which is square root of 34. Okay, My tangent is my opposite over my adjacent, which is negative 5 over 3. My cosecant, remember, is just the reciprocal of these. So all you got to do is just reciprocate them. So I have negative square root of 34 
over 5. I have negative square root of 34 over 3. And I have a negative 3 over 5. Then I just want to make sure I simplify my radicals here. So I'm going to rationalize the denominator. And my final answer here is going to be a negative 5 square root of 34 over 34. Here, I'm going to have 3 square root of 34 over 34. And that one is fine as well. OK? All right. I'm done talking for a while, finally. I know you guys